Hello artists, how are you today? Stephanie Oni coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here near Willow Creek, California. Oz and I welcome you to the studio and we are very, very happy you are here with us today. Yes, we are. Happy, happy, happy Thanksgiving. I want to show you what I have been working on. Now, just to let you guys know, this page is for Patreon. Um, this is for our simple exposure. I did want to give you the video of how I colored this in. And the reason for that is I wanna to talk to you guys about the Arteza Real Brush Pens. I have the set of 48 here. They are an amazing product. And um, I have been using layer upon layer upon layer of color um, to work on this page. Now, you are not going to see the construction on this page. The construction on this page and also the meaning behind the page is over on Patreon, and that is Patreon content. And um, But I did want to show you how awesome the Arteza Real Brush Pens are. As you guys know, I am an Arteza affiliate, uh, which means that they do give me a, a commission for my recommendation. You guys know that I use the Real Brush Pens. I've used them uh, since I've started um, my channel. I have used these ever since I started Mixed Media. Now, the reason why I do like them is not only are the colors fabulous, but they have a wonderful, let me see if you can see that, sharp pen. They have a great, they have a lot of pigment to them. Water soluble, so you can use them with your Arteza water brushes. I use them in kind of a watercolor way actually. So you can get a really fine point and then you can also blur out and fade out. Um, I love the effects that I can get with these pens and I do hope that you guys try them out. Now please, 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 if you could use the link that I provide below in the description. Um, now Arteza does run specials periodically and for Thanksgiving I know that they are having one. I'm not sure what the code is. Um, but for Black Friday, I can guarantee you they will be doing one. If you use the link, um, then you go to Arteza, you pick out your products, then you put, put the code in at the end. I should probably look up that uh, Thanksgiving code for you. Um, but it'll probably say it on the site or the prices will already be discounted. Um, they have wonderful, wonderful products. I do want to let you guys know too, I got, um, I don't know if I finished, did I finish telling you about it? I think so. But anyways, when you use my link to get to Arteza, then I do get credit for whatever you've put into your basket. So that would be awesome. I just got my Arteza set of 36 metallic acrylic paints and I am so happy I got those. I've been saving up. Well, I, I, I couldn't really justify buying more paint. Um, but you guys have been using the Amazon links and from the Amazon links that you used last month, I was able to purchase um, the Arteza metallic set. So totally excited about having all of those gorgeous metallic colors. Um, so on this video for this amazing woman, you are not going to see the rest of the construction, nor are you going to tell or know the story behind it. You will be getting this video this week, uh, part one of this. And um, so you'll know a little bit more about the story when you get this video. But the um, over on Patreon, I do um, give you a few more details about my life and about the process and about what's happening behind things. But I do wanna show you how gorgeous we can paint with a very, very fine brush, super controlled. Um, I love this process. So I wanted to share it with you and uh, Patreons, you will be getting the full, uh, full goodies here. I like to show you guys what we're making over on Patreon. Uh, this was the last project that I did over there. Uh, this one is called Solitude. Now, for this, uh, the Patreons did receive instructions on how to make the pull-up, the moon, and you also received the silhouettes for the trees, and uh, 
Yeah. So the simple exposure uh, part of this amazing altered book is coming along really well. And uh, you do get instructions, of course, on how to make these pages. So Patreons, I try to make sure you get some good stuff. I have to give a huge shout out to my Patreons. Um, without your support, I most likely would not be able to continue to live here in Willow Creek, uh, up in the woods. That's, um, you know, there's not a lot of really great paying jobs and certainly the job I have right now would not pay the bills. So, um, thank you very, very much for, uh, your support of the channel. Um, as I am a solo person, I don't have anybody, uh, supporting, um, me in my art endeavor. And it's very hard to sell your artwork. And um, really, without you guys' support, I would have a very hard, hard, hard time continuing to do this. Um, it does take up a lot of time, as you know, and energy. And um, those of you that are able to pledge your $10 and your $25, you make a huge difference in my life. And $10 maybe isn't that much for you. I mean, we know that it's less than two Starbucks coffees a month. But uh, when you add it to the collective, it really does make a difference. Your Amazon, uh, using the Amazon links are super helpful. Um, if you could use the Arteza links, and you guys, the, 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 the products that they have are really nice. Um, very, very happy to be supporting um, and to be a brand ambassador for them. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day. And uh, Patreons, you'll get your video on this guy soon. Uh, YouTubers, you'll get your first video on this guy. I'm sure this is going to take probably two or three videos. So anyways, enough blah, blah, blah. Have a great day. Be thankful. Have gratitude. I need to live this life with gratitude or else it's just really depressing. Right? Okay. Love you guys. Mwah! You are amazing. Bye. All right, guys. After digging around, I finally... <sighs> Remembered, I have this gorgeous set of the Arteza water brush pens. Oh, oh my gosh. You know, I, I have always loved using these. And right now I'm just looking for some different grays. I think I'm going to bring in some browns, some sepia tones. And um, I'm just going to kind of start to play before I'll gradually add in a little bit of color, I think, is what I'm thinking of doing. Now... Uh, the colors for the Artezas, they're just beautiful. This is the set of 42, 48, I think. They're really, really nice to use. And, uh, you know, I do have the Arteza links down in the comments. So, um, if you use those links, Arteza will give me um, a commission. And I would greatly appreciate it. All you have to do is use the link to go to the store. And as long as you stay in that store, everything that you put into your uh, shopping cart, I should actually get credit for because I've referred you to the Arteza website. Um, Arteza has uh, sales very often. And... Uh, you know, if you're kind of hesitating on getting it, get signed up on their mailing list and uh, you will get um, sale coupons. So the coupons, uh, but then, you know, again, you'll have to go back and use the link from underneath one of the videos. I try to put it underneath all of my videos, the link. You see how much better that's even covering there than that last pen. Now, the reason why I'm using water brush pens here and these are the real water brush pens, I believe is what they're called. Yes, real brush pens. So the reason why I'm choosing to use this is that I want to make sure that what I'm doing doesn't get too... Um, I need a finer point. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. Let's make sure we don't have... You know, my, my brush pens got a little bit messy because I was using these with the watercolors. Um... Like with our watercolor, we can move the ink around. Now, the the um, gesso and this paper, they're really absorbing quickly. If 
But here I'm using one of the um, Arteza water pens to just kind of move that ink around. Uh, and enjoying the effect very much. And I'm just going to kind of go through here and, you know, try not to ruin her. It's my biggest fear. I don't want to ruin her. Um, but also kind of just checking to see what these different colors are. Don't know what color that would be. I don't think that color would be green though. Let's see here. I want to make sure I'm using a lighter color. They have some really beautiful um, skin tones uh, in all different shades. I mean, you know, um, They, they really have a beautiful array of colors in this set. Let's just see what happens if we just start to add a little bit of tint in on her. Little bit at a time, guys. We do not want to do too much of anything at once. I'm just looking to warm up her face a little bit. And then watch what happens with your hands, because remember, if your hands get too thick with paint uh, or ink, it will, you know, can transfer. So be sure to keep your hands cleanish. You know, we know how hard it is with our messy hands to stay clean. But, um, wow, look at her. Just that alone, just warming up her face. Here's the back of her hand. I'm definitely gonna leave space to color those rings. Now she's wearing a very transparent uh, shirt. I kind of like leaving that that color. I think I do like leaving that that color. Tell where you missed that painting for sure, huh? There we go. Hello. Now a lot of these women have the very light blue eyes. I'm actually going to give her my color of eyes, which are turquoise. My eyes are more turquoise than blue. That might be a little too creepy. I don't know. Let's see how it looks. That looks pretty intense. Uh, well, let's see if we can lighten it up just a little bit. All right, I grabbed some fresh uh, paper towel here too. All right, we got a little water. Don't add the water all to. Don't squeeze it when it's over your work. Squeeze it before you bring it into your work so that you have a fresh drop of water, but that you're not, um, there. Perfect. And we want a little bit of a uh, blush to her lips. I'm going to bring in a light, light blue-gray, if I can find one. For our shadows, this one's a blue-gray. Yes, let's see. Because we do want to bring her face down into the shadow. Keep the highlights on this side. You know, you can naturally tell where the light was coming from on her. See how uh, it was actually coming up from almost overhead. There we 
There we go. We'll get you looking right. All right, we'll bring a little bit of shadow into our hands where that shadow is. Oops, see the mystery bottom of our hands there. Wrong color. Now, that jewelry. I like that little bit of green there. I kind of like that uh, tone. Let's actually pull in a little bit more yellow in here.
fine tipped this uh, pen nib is on this brush pen. Let me tell you guys, you can just add such gorgeous little detail with these pens. Um, I don't know if I wanted to do that, so let's just kind of see here. And then, uh, you know, I'm just kind of making up her, her hair as I think it would look or would have looked. because as a Bohemian or a Romanian, uh, they're generally dark-haired, not always. The gypsies were kind of dark-haired, blue-eyed people. It's interesting, um, in one of the books that I have on my uh, family ancestry, one of my great-great-great-great-grandmothers, I think it was, she's uh, late, uh, early 1800s, mid 1800s. I'm sure I went over the first photography it was around. Um, she had the bluest eyes. You could just tell they were the ice blue eyes. My daddy had ice blue eyes. Very incredible eyes. My brother Scott has those eyes. Mine are close, but my eyes are more turquoise than uh, the ice blue, so they have a little more pigment to them. There's not a lot of brushes that I would attempt to do that with. In fact, this would probably be a good place for the uh, watercolor pencils, but um, I'm just wanting to accentuate her eyes just a touch more. The darkness of her lips, the darkness of her nose. And then, of course, this I've got a little bit torn up here. She would have a fine nose. All right, we don't want to do too much uh, to decide what she looks like here, which I think I probably already have, but that's just that's artist license, you know. Don't scrub this, just drop and lift. There. There she is. I'm just going to try to blend these colors here just a touch more.
I think that's really, really amazing. I have to stop playing uh, playing with her or I'm going to like mess something up is what I feel like I'm at right now. I'm going to bring in a little bit more shadow in here. And in here. To accentuate the way she's sitting. And we're going to have a little more shadow in there. A little more shadow under her arm. Because that's wet. Remember, we just took the water brush over it. So be sure not to scrub. We don't want to scrub on this. And these pens are very, very gentle. Um, so as you can see, I'm building layers, building, 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 always building the layers up. And as a color looks good, then I'm uh, adding more of that color, okay? Not just dumping one color onto the page. Take your time. I can't stress that enough. There is no need to get artwork done in 30 minutes great artwork it takes time I am distressing this a little bit more. As you can see, I can feel that paper coming up. So I'm very gently distressing it just a touch more in areas where I want it to be distressed. We want this lighter right through there. Okay. All right, I gotta stop fussing with her. I think she's phenomenal. All right, we'll chat soon.